And right now we want to head outside and find out what Jason Laney is up to at the Depot. Jason? I'm trying to figure out how to keep my lawn beautiful all year <laughs> long, Mike. That's what we're doing. We're here with Richard Fitzpatrick from the Home Depot. Uh, we were just chatting a few minutes ago. It's still a good time to concentrate on the lawn, even though it's turning cold. Well, the thing is, is now's the time you want to get it ready for winter. You know, this fertilizer here that I brought this morning is a good fertilizer to put on now. But, you know, that fertilizer should be being put on every three months all summer long to keep this lawn. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure when you mow it, a lot of people say that you're supposed to cut it short. Don't cut it short. Leave it long because that lawn will stimulate those roots. They'll get better. You'll do better all the way around if you leave that. And then right now especially, do not take your clippings away. Leave your clippings on the lawn because it will help uh, insulate the lawn for the winter oh, and everything. And then in the spring, if you want, you can, but it's really not good because your lawn will absorb them itself. And then some of the other things we brought today was uh, I brought three different books. These books, what I can tell you in three minutes won't even begin to tell you what you need. Perennials now. Is there a lot of work we need to do with perennials to get them ready for the winter? In this area, which we're in zone seven, you don't need to do a lot to get them ready. Evergreens, you don't. But still, evergreens should be fertilized a little bit, a little bit of fertilizer on them. Just make sure you do not touch the leaves or you get it around the roots, I mean around the trunk. You, tr you want to stay away from that? Give it once now, and then again in early spring, you want to hit them again. You want to make sure that your roses... You want to hit your roses one more time, not because you want them to, to, to flower out again, mm -hmm. but because you want them to, to go through the winter healthy. And so this gives exactly. them that extra push. And, and then everything else is just a case of you using your head a little bit about <laughs> should we put straw around... Uh, if you have fig trees, should we put straw around them? Yes, that would be very... If you have pomegranate trees, should you put straw around the roots and everything? Yes, that would help. It's not going to prevent if we had get down to 10 below zero, but most of the winters that we have, it won't hurt at Well, all. I'll tell you right now, I've still got some annuals in my flower oh, bed. You bet. And, and they've responded great to this weather lately. What about them? When is it time to say bye-bye to those? Uh, uh, well, that's not our call. Really. Okay. I mean, that's <laughs> really... That's stay. more your call than it okay. is my call, because as soon as it... We'll get this any time from now on we'll get a freeze and when we get a freeze then they'll say that's enough that's it they're done so perennials good time to get them planted right now well you can plant them now or you can plant them in the spring i like to plant them in the winter and let them get through i mean i like to plant them now for and let them get through but you can plant them in the spring if you do it in the early spring it's still good when it gets too hot you they'll never get started in time all right very good well richard thanks for coming You're by more a lot than of welcome. great tips and hey if you, if you want to catch up on it a lot of good suggestions yes there is for you back to you guys mike